It's the coronation of King Charles III and also our 200th episode. We have got a packed program that's fit for a king. So let's start the show. Welcome to Buckingham Palace. This landmark has served as the London residence of the UK's sovereigns since 1837, and today is the administrative headquarters of the King. We'll be here throughout today's show as we celebrate the historic occasion of the coronation as King Charles III is crowned at Westminster Abbey. So what should you be eating on this special day? Coronation chicken, of course, so let's take a look. When it came to thinking of what food to prepare for the coronation, there was only one recipe that came to mind, and that was coronation chicken. Now, you've probably seen it in sandwiches, but have you ever made it? Well, I know that I certainly haven't. So I looked up the recipe, and it is fairly easy. These are the ingredients that you need. Six tablespoons of mayonnaise, two to three teaspoons of mild curry powder to taste, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, two tablespoons of mango chutney, one to three tablespoons of sultanas or the amount that you just wish to have to taste, 500 grams of shredded cooked chicken and some black pepper to taste. So it's quite simple, all we do is add all the ingredients into the bowl. So we start off with our mayo. Oops, our mango chutney. Our curry powder. Our cinnamon. And our sultanas. And we just mix it together. It's a very, very small amount, really. Because once you add the chicken, you don't want the sauce to be overpowering. So there's quite a lot of chicken to go around. Um, so we add the chicken into the bowl. And we just give it a good mix. Now you could use this filling um, in various things. You could have it with a salad you could put it into a sandwich or you could do what we're doing and that is having it in a jacket potato and here is Paul to show you how to cook that so we are having the coronation chicken with the jacket potato that I'm going to prepare for you now so I scrubbed these really big roasting potatoes uh, I am going to be adding them in to the air fryer and then I will be adding oh this is perfect and then I will be adding about two tablespoons or teaspoons of olive oil to help it roast up So this will go in for about an hour at 200 degrees. So I'm going to roast them. I think that they are quite big so hopefully this will only take an hour. But if needs be, I will put them in for another 10, 20 minutes afterwards. So let's push this in and then let's start. So I actually had these potatoes in the air fryer for I think one hour 
15 minutes. So just shy of the one hour 20. So I think I'm going to give this one to myself and then Marcus wants a big one as well. A small one for me, I think. Do you want like this? Yeah, that medium one. I think this one's like small one. Okay. So I put it in the air fryer. I added the olive oil and then I also seasoned it with salt and pepper in the middle of the process. Right, well, let's tuck in. Now, Paul has added some black pepper to the mix and we thought that it wasn't creamy enough, so we found a little bit more mayonnaise and we added that in as well. But I think this now does look like the perfect. Okay, mix. so I am cutting this potato. It is a lot of steam in here, so <laughs> it's so it's very hot. Ooh, I think that they came out perfect. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Well, you see, you see them in those sort of ovens. Don't they? I say sort of ovens. They're, they're like, what do you call them? Like when you go, those ovens. No, no, no. <laughs> when you go to like a cafe, sometimes they have like a cast iron oven All right. with a glass door, and it's specifically for baked potatoes. Oh, yes, we've got no, butter on the side. You should have them cut up so that when you put the butter in, then it just melts everywhere. You want me to quarter it? No, like. Do it the way that I did. Like, oh, squish it down. Cut like strips in each. No, like just. Should I do it? <laughs> Don't do what are you doing? Like this. Like okay. cutting it long way. Okay, fine. Whatever. Right. And then add some butter. Are you having any butter? I don't know. Can you give me some pepper? Ooh, the pepper's right here. Need some more. Behind the fly. Well, it was actually in front of the fly. Do we need more butter? <laughs> well, we've got this creamy mixture to go in. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me give you some. Oh, this mixture. sounds exciting. How much do you want? That much? Yeah. And now. Like that. Yeah. And we'll have a little bit plopped in both potatoes. Parts of the show. I have a wee bit more. Yeah. I can't believe I haven't really had um, carnage or chips. Uh, I see it in the sandwich and then I thought, how does it taste like? Mmm, not bad. Mmm. Mmm, there's like this. Mm. Um, really? There's, there's this. Um, it tastes like oriental stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Because of the curry butter. Yeah, I think because of the curry. And I think that uh, a cold and hot combination does sound kind of interesting. Mmm, oh, so good, man. I think, yes, the, uh, the hot of the potato and the cold of the sauce. Of the sauce or the filling, if you like, is, um, yeah, they, they complement each other. Mmm. Very interesting. I wasn't really sure what to expect from a carnation chicken. No, I very rarely actually get a carnation chicken sandwich, but I think I might get one just to sort of um, see how it compares with making it at home. But I do love the jacket potato. Yeah, I want this like skin bit. I think mm. I'm going to eat the soft bits first. Mm. Lovely and crispy. I know that you need to make a confession. You have not subscribed to our show, but there's still time to do it. Just hit the subscribe button. King Charles III ascended to the throne on September the 8th, 2022, following the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. Born on November the 14th, 1948, at Buckingham Palace in London, Prince Charles Philip Arthur George was the first child of then Princess Elizabeth and Prince Philip. On February the 6th, 1952, at the age of three, he became heir apparent, 
when his mother ascended the throne following the death of her father, King George VI. In addition to his official and ceremonial duties in the United Kingdom and overseas as the Prince of Wales, His Majesty has taken a keen and active interest in all areas of public life for decades. His Majesty has worked closely with many organisations, publicly supporting a wide variety of causes relating to the environment, rural communities, the built environment, the arts, healthcare and education. The road ahead of us is the world famous mall and it um it is the road that leads from London to Buckingham Palace and you've seen it in the procession for the Queen's funeral as well as any celebratory occasions also for the King's coronation. A Buckingham Palace is very close to many locations including the Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament right in the distance over here. So this is Victoria Regina Imperatrix. That seems like a really hard thing to say. Imperial Queen. Hmm. Let's take a closer look at Buckingham Palace. Originally known as Buckingham House, the building at the core of today's palace was a large townhouse built for the Duke of Buckingham in 1703 on a site that had been in private ownership for at least 150 years. It was acquired by King George III in 1761 as a private residence for Queen Charlotte and became known as the Queen's House. During the 19th century, it was enlarged by architects John Nash and Edward Blower, who constructed three wings around a central courtyard. Buckingham Palace became the London residence of the British monarch on the accession of Queen Victoria in 1837. The palace has 775 rooms. These include 19 state rooms, 52 royal and guest bedrooms, 188 staff bedrooms, 92 offices and 78 bathrooms. Today, Buckingham Palace is very much a working building and the centrepiece of the UK's constitutional monarchy, serving as the venue for many royal events and ceremonies, from entertaining foreign heads of state to celebrating achievement at investitures and receptions. Although in use for the many official events and receptions held by the King, the state rooms at Buckingham Palace are open to visitors every summer. Well, Buckingham Palace is also known for the changing of the guard ceremony. This popular ceremony, traditionally known as guard mounting, takes place in the forecourt of Buckingham Palace on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays at 11am. There is no guards mounting in very wet weather. It is held daily during the summer. At Horse Guards Arch, the changing of the King's lifeguard takes place daily at 11am, 10am on Sunday, and lasts about 30 minutes. It is held on Horse Guards Parade by Whitehall, which is located east of St James's Park. During changing the guards, park roads are closed between 10.15am and 11.45am. In addition, on Sundays, Marlborough Road, Constitution Hill, and the Mall will be closed by 9am and reopen at dusk. During the ceremony, the new guard takes over the formal duty of protecting the King from the old guard. The guards wear their full dress uniform of red tunics and black bearskin caps and music is played by a regimental band. Hey, Paul. 
People are used to seeing ancient monuments in this show. Mm. And I'm not just talking about us. So please subscribe. So who fancies a tipple? I know I do. Well, I think it's time that we opened the bar. Can't see you, Paul. Happy Coronation Day, everyone. Yeah. Now, Happy our friend Peter is here, and we are having cocktails fit for a king. Uh, excuse me. What? Me queens. Oh, yes, of course. Three queens. <laughs> three queens, king. three queens, and three cocktails. Very apt. And yes. Paul has been preparing them. So I think we should talk into the first one. Would you like to explain what we've got here, Paul? So this is Apro Spritz. Um, Ooh, yeah. It mm -hmm. is Heavy. three parts Prosecco, two parts Apro, and one part soda water. Right. So that's just regular soda water, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, cheers. Okay. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> get, get, get your laughing gear around this. <laughs> Get your garbage. Oh, Marcus. Oh, oh wow. Mm. Yeah. It's actually it's quite subtle, really, the, the taste, because we've had Aperol Spritz like, in the in the Summertime. Pub, pub before. Um, but this is a specific recipe that we got off their website of how to actually make it. Is there some guess that it's orange? Well, there's, there's orange in it, isn't mm. there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Aperol Spritz itself, I'm not really sure. What is it? Taste? I think it's got it, its own taste. It is orangey. It oh, it's an orangey. Oh, okay. Isn't it tangerine? Italian or something? Who? Italian? Apple. Italian? Oh, um. Italy. Italian. Oh, yeah. Well, Italian. somebody made. Somebody called Spritz made it. Mm. Which is why I. Did he make it with his hands? Hands Hand, <laughs> hand Spritz. <laughs> Look, you would think that this we're doing things backwards, and this is our third one, but no, no. This is the first one. We're going to be on the floor with the third one. Yeah. Oh, mm. soon, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have we got drink it all on camera? Uh, no. Oh, good. No, what no, no. shame. We're going to drink half of it. Look. Oh, some nuts. nuts. I've even brought my nuts along for the coronation. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> we've got peanuts, we've got cashews, and we've got some... Tortilla chips. Mm. Mm. Which is your favourite kind of nut? And don't mm. take all. <laughs> <laughs> not nuts. Mm. I like my cashews. Yeah, I do like too. a salted peanut. Um, what else do I like? Ooh, I do like cashews. Pistachios? Pistachio, no, yeah. They have those shells. Yeah, mm. yeah. Pistachio ice cream or something. Have you ever had that, my dear? Mm. 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 Yeah, so we yeah. have that in, uh, in Aegina. <laughs> Aegina. Aegina. Yes, that is the home of the pistachio to what? an island off Athens. Mm. Mm. I think we need to start rating this. Mm. Oh, uh, I'll be rating the drinks out of five. Yeah, so I think it would be one is the lowest, five would be the best score. But we're having different types of drinks, so is, is that not sort of like no, rating apples against pears? Do you think we should do <laughs> or out of out of 10 maybe. Oh, well, I mean, if you do it out of 5, it's half of what it would be, would be out of 10 anyway. But then, <laughs> but then, the, mm, but then the scores would be higher. I, I would say, yes, I mean, <laughs> apples, uh, this this is like a real summer drink, I think. Isn't it? Like you, could it have, is. you could have it, of course, at any, any time of year, but it is very refreshing. And you could just sort of picture yourself sitting out on a nice July evening. Mm. Um, you know, waiting for the sun to go down. Yeah, a sundowner. Is that and what they call sundo? Is that what a sundowner is? I bet you that they mm. have lots of this on the beaches everywhere. We have our lovely King Charles to thank for this. We sure do. God bless your King Charles. Indeed. <laughs> Cheers. May he reign over us. Long to reign over us. Isn't that what they mm. say? Yes. But less of the rain, more of the sunshine. And mm. more of Long the to sunshine. sunshine up. We'll give it a four out of five because I think it's been slightly watered down. Maybe we ran out of spritz. Is that no, right? Oh. No, 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 no. It 
came up to here and then I just... Oh, it. right. No, okay. I... So, I think I'm going to go first. Oh, I get, I get mine. You always go first. <laughs> <laughs> well, I say this is a five. Mm, really? You made it. Yeah. <laughs> what, out of ten? No. Out of five. five. <laughs> oh. <laughs> should, well, I, should I upgrade it then? I'll um, I'll give you five as well, Paul. I'll give you five if you don't shot. I think it's time we move to swiftly on to the next one. I think I need to do something with this drink. Wait. Mm. <laughs> la 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 la, we're back. <laughs> what is this second one, Paul? This is a gin mixer round. Ah, no. <laughs> round two. Um, who's round two. Round? Um, I got you these lovely little mixers for Christmas and we never got round to using them, so this is the perfect opportunity. This is what it looks like. This is the gourmet cocktails gin mixers. So, there are four different varieties. There's lime, raspberry, rosé and elderflower. And we've each chosen the one that we want each. So we start off with a shot of gin in a glass. It's not a tall glass, but the, the picture was like a wine glass. So that's tall enough, I think. Mm. Um, so one do you shot? want to measure it out? Yeah. Do you want more than one? <laughs> I'll just have the one shot. <laughs> Adam, it's, well, it says add a measure. <laughs> <laughs> Peter oh, oh no, God, no, I don't got, want to. It, no. <laughs> you might have to switch the glasses around there. Oh, that's right. Cheers. Happy Christmas. <laughs> you, I was going to say, you're going to have, 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 it, have it neat, but you've already got the hand. <laughs> now, like everyone nice. grab your bottle and shake it all about. No, you don't have to shake it, do you? Who has chosen what flavour? Peter, what I, have you gone for? Well, I've gone for um, lime flavour. Lime? And yes. Paul? Uh, Rosé. And I've gone for the raspberry. So Who's gone for the other one then? The oh, there's one left over. Posh name. Well, there's one left over for oh, the king. You didn't tell me that. Oh. <laughs> we are saving it for the king. We're saving it for the king. Oh, is this... Yeah, well, where does this come make a change. It's normally saving it for a queen. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get the top off. Oh, look, there's a scissor here to help you, help you use, pop it. Use your teeth. I don't have any teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. You could use that. I've done it because I'm a good boy. Okay. Right. I don't have any nails, you see. That's the thing. Well. Sorry, I gave you so much alcohol. Oh, I oh, smell yeah. this. <laughs> Look at Ooh. that. There's just enough ice in the glass to fill it up to the top. <laughs> Do you want some more gin, Peter? <laughs> I don't think so. But I'm going to stir it because I like sure? to stir things. <laughs> you stir things up. I'm a <laughs> Yes, I like to stir things up. Well, yeah, give it a little stir. Do you know what they call me? My name's Edward. Edward? Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Happy, um, happy coronation. coronation day. Look, look how colourful it is. Mr. Ch King Charles. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh. oh, wow. Well, oh, that's really sweet. Is it? <laughs> wow. Did you, you any, did you put any gin in there or what? <laughs> you see, no, maybe, you need a, maybe you need three, three shots of gin. Do you want another shot? Hang on, I'll just have another sip. <laughs> oh, go on, Dad. Explain <laughs> what kind of gin that you've got here. So this oh, is nice, nice. Hortus World Botanicals a Japanese cherry blossom gin. And I picked this one up from Lidl. Oh, right. And what percentage is it, Paul? 40.3 wow. 40.3 is, is that high? Yeah. For a gin? <laughs> is, is it? Yeah, that is quite high, yeah. I don't normally buy gin. That's wow. Cool. Well, it's that high and we can't even taste the gin because... No, because I think these chasers, these mixers are masking it. So oh, we yeah, are yeah. going to tell until much later. I hope you like your alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> don't we still have to finish the oven? Well, finish it. Oh, finish the other one. Yes, yes, yes. And start the third one. Mine's environmentally friendly, of course, because it's green. <laughs> mm. Why don't you keep you've got, telling yourself that? You've got two pinkies, you have. 
<laughs> Cheers, yours everyone. Is, yours is pinkier than it is. Cheers oh, again. <laughs> out of five. <laughs> yes, I think I'll give this one eight, eight as well. Very nice, actually. I like that. It's nice. I like that sweetness, and also when you when you look at it, I don't know if you can see there, but it's actually it's quite. It looks like syrupy. I think. Mm. Must be a lot of sugar. In What's it, it made of? This, this is probably really sweet. Let's have a look at the box. It looks really sweet. Ah, uh, it's made of water, sugar, acid, acidity regulator. Flavoring, salt, and various preservatives, antioxidant, and colors. Have you been to Crofts lately? I've never been to Crofts. Oh. Oh, I think I'd like to go to Crofts. Have you Wait. been to Crofts? No, but if you play your cards right, you can see another King Charles. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well done, dear. Oh, she's on fire tonight. Oh, yeah. I wonder what was behind yeah, I me. Mean. She's smoking. <laughs> I think it's time we moved on to the third one. No, don't you? we have to rate this. I rated we, it. We rated ours already. Did I rate we, mine? We both gave them eight out of five. Mm. <coughs> six out of five. <laughs> it's only a six. Why is that too sweet for you? It is. Okay. I don't normally do these mixed drinks. That's why. Sorry. Can't stand the heat, get out no, of the No, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, oh. Right, I've got to do my gag. Okay. Shall we move the gin out of the way? <laughs> so when you are feeling lazy and just want an easy drink, you would need to go with one of these babies. Using a bit of film terminology. Is it in the can? <laughs> It might. I think it is in the can, but I think I think Paul's flagging because he just knocked. Oh. He just knocked, knocked, oh. knocked down our, our union, our union flag. We only had four drinks. <laughs> four. Grab onto that, dear. Don't pull your ringer yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's this. what they all say. That's what they all say. <laughs> this is a moth. Espresso or is it espresso martini vodka cold brew coffee liqueur. Playlist? I don't know what that means. This anyway. is going to keep me up tonight. What <laughs> oh, sounds like a good one. It says, if you were to live somewhere forever, where would it be? And it doesn't give you the answer. It says, shake, squeeze, enjoy. Oh, are we, are we still talking about the drink? Okay. <laughs> I've been shaking, squeezing, and enjoying for years, and I still haven't managed to get it right. So. Okay. Well, so. it says now. Of course, if you've had a few drinks, does it say to to shake it? Well, it does it's, it says if you've had a few? Well, it doesn't say if you've had a few drinks, but it says count okay. on this to open your eyes. Because smooth, caffeine. bitter balance, like a glass of icy and likes a glass icy enough to write your name on. Well, okay, we haven't got it that icy. Well, I'm going to write my name if I haven't uh, got a pen. So. It says goes with anything sweet. Well, that's why I'm oh, here. Yeah. Like need... a lover. Do I need some more ice in here then? Perfect with your favorite playlist. That's what it is. So you're supposed to listen okay. to the music. Oh, yeah. So wait, it. hang on. Let's play some music. Okay, right, I hope you enjoyed that. We shake it about. Okay, open. <laughs> and we open. And I then can't we believe it's 14 and a half percent. 14.9 percent, that's outrageous. The oh, only God. thing I'll say is, if you're hoping for a good night's sleep tonight, well, oh, I don't sugars. know. But you like your coffee late at oh, night, I don't want you? Here. Some I do. sleep tonight. Who, who says we're here late, late at night anyway? Me. <laughs> I can smell it already. And the drink. <laughs> I shouldn't have had that cucumber. Well, Cheers. Cheers. Watch out for spillage. <laughs> and the drink. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, blimey, that's strong. I don't think I've, I've ever had it as disgusting. God, jeez. That's, sorry. That you know, is disgusting. <laughs> can I suggest something, and this may sound yes. even more disgusting. Can you put milk in it? 
Well, you could, couldn't you? Well, shall I, I try? I put more like Bailey's in it. Oh, Bailey. Ah, oh, right. Okay. I don't have Bailey's. Got any honey or something? My God, it's sweet. And that's enough. Kiss sweet, me, though. honey, honey. Kiss me. No, Dave. You need to drink this Sorry. straight up. Sorry. Well, I'm not no my own additives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on my knees. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. We're going to sing God great, God mm. save our gracious mm -hmm. king. We should do. We'll do that at the end, I think. Good idea, my dear. Mm. This is going to keep me up. You know, I think that it's, it's probably a, a good idea that you do have this one sort of round off the evening because if you're, you've, 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 you've had a few drinks, mm. if your, you're, spe your speech is a a slurring a little bit. Your eyes are starting to close now. Roll, roll back. Have some more nuts. <laughs> and then you you finish off your cashews. Oh, you. There you go, my dear. You know, and then you want something to sort of like perk you up at the end of the night. Yeah, well, it's not a bleeding one of these, is it? <laughs> no, this is gonna. I can you think up. of better things to perk me up than a bloody coffee. <laughs> but <laughs> Bailey's would be nice, wouldn't mm. it? Or a Quantro even. Mmm, one shot. Mm. Nice and creamy. Mm. Yeah. Or a tea Maria. Okay, so how would we rate them? I would rate it a three out of five, I think, because um, it, it, well, for me, it tasted too sweet and a little bit too strong as well. And also, if you're going for a night out, um, I think it might affect your sleep afterwards because I don't really drink coffee at night. Do you want my? Do you want my? Who uh, says it's night time? Yeah. Yes. Go on. Oh yeah. Speak you may speak. To the camera. You may speak. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Permission to speak. Thank you, mum. <laughs> like Downton Abbey. Here. So, are you? Um, do you want my uh, assessment? Honest opinion. Yes. yes. Oh, your score. Yeah. My score. Point five. <gasps> oh, that is better. Yeah. So I am going to give the espresso martini a one out of five. Oh. Ah! Here you go. Ooh, look. We want to wish King Charles III many happy years to reign over us, but preferably to sunshine over us. Yay! Happy coronation, everyone! Happy, 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 happy coronation. coronation! God save, save our gracious King. King! 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 King. I, said King. <laughs> I didn't. Long live our gracious King! Lovely king, God, God save the king. king. La 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 God save the king. We've had our food, we've had our drinks, now it's time for some fun and games. Look, it's the king behind us. Yes, it is. Now, we want to have a little bit of fun. We've got a blindfold here. Oh, if I turn it around the right way. <laughs> and each one of us, myself, Paul and Peter, are going to be blindfolded separately. We're going to spin round three times. Yes, three times. And then we are going to pin a diamond on the king's crown. It's a bit like pinning the tail on the donkey. And whoever gets closest wins a certificate. It's just a bit of fun for the coronation. So let's get crowning. Now, Paul, Crowning. now you need to put your blindfold on. He's got it on. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, stick your index finger out. There is your sticker. Do I need to go this way? Like, do I need to hold it this way? Uh, you need to hold it that way. Now, I'll... I will take you here. Do I need to spin? And I'll spin you around three times. One. Oh my gosh. <laughs> two. Oh my god. And oh three. Oh my god. <laughs> pin! 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 Okay. Straight ahead. No, that's the door knocker. <laughs> <laughs> bit to your right, bit to your right. Pin! Pin! Bit to your left, bit to your left. Now, okay, 
Let's see how you compare with the rest of us. Who's going next? Me! <laughs> yeah! It is. No, Peter is next up for this challenge. Am I ready? Can I You're do You're ready. Right, you need to put your blindfold on, it's my dear. On. It's on. <laughs> have you got eyes in the back of your head? I have. Ah, that's how you always know what I I'm have. up to. <laughs> now, are you going to do this challenge with your left hand or your right hand? Are my you right, ambidextrous? My, pardon? Um, <laughs> how rude. My right hand, please. Your right hand. Stick it up. <laughs> oh, are you... Well, that should really be the Sorry. index thing. Okay, right. Okay, there's your sticker. We are going to spin you around three times. Here we go. One. <laughs> the door. Two. And three. So you're ahead. straight ahead. No, that's that's the, that's the bloody settee, isn't it? <laughs> Pin the diamond. I'm pinning the diamond. Yep. <laughs> We're having such fun, but now it's my turn. It? Okay, Marcus, so you are going to... Okay, blindfold is on. I am using my left. Ooh, should I use my left hand? <laughs> Whichever hand you want. I'm sticking my finger up. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> there is a, a giraffe on top of you. Is there? Oh, right. I've been having a lot of drinks tonight. It's not, it's oh, not a wait. giraffe, it's a bleeding donkey. <laughs> no, that, no, that is a giraffe. Spin me round. One. Careful where you put that two, finger up. Like oh. Three. Wait. Okay. <laughs> no, that is the door. What? Go forward. Yep. Right, how do I do? Let's see. Let's assess the results. It's a draw. I think it's a draw, you know. Yes, it's Why? A draw. Well, look, we've got Peter over here. Yeah. We've got Paul over here. All right. We've got Marcus up here. And the target zone was in the middle. Don't you win though, because you're on the crown. No, but this is the target zone. It's it's supposed I to be. I think I win because I'm nearest. You're nearest. I think you're right, dear. Yeah. Peter. Ah, congratulations, Peter, our guest. Look, Peter the Great. It yeah. says, <laughs> winner of the pin, the diamond, or the crown game in May 2023. Congratulations. You may keep the certificates forever. Don't smudge it. Happy coronation. It's a, it's a car, another coronation treat. That's a little joke. What? Coronation street? Yeah. <laughs> Mind those cobbles. Well, we've had an absolutely fabulous time here at Buckingham Palace today and we're sure that the coronation is going to be an absolutely fantastic success yes and also thanks for tuning in to our 200th episode and did you know that it's also been two years this weekend since we started our show no yeah i know 200 200 episodes over two years but you know something there's one thing missing i think from What's today's that? program we haven't actually come across any members of the royal family that is true. But you know, I think we can rectify that. Because look who is behind us. It's none other than Queen Victoria herself. So look, two queens with, <laughs> with an old queen. <laughs> so whatever you're doing this coronation weekend, have an absolutely fantastic time. And we'll see you next time on our 200th and first episode. Wow. <laughs> Bye for now. It's the coronation of King Charles III and also our 200th episode. Okay. That's all you've got to say. Mm.
It's the coronation of King Charles III and also <coughs> our 200th episode. And I'll say we've got a packed programme that's fit for a king. All I've got to say is we've got a packed programme that's fit for a king. So you just remember your bits. I want to do it like this, sort of like going around. This London landmark has served as it has served as the official London ugh, London London. This landmark has served as the official London residence of the UK sovereigns since 1837 and today is the administrative headquarters of the king. You're saying that. Yeah. We can like, just do it in this. If I can just get to this this Landmark has served as the official London residence of the UK sovereigns. Do I say welcome? This London landmark, this landmark has served as the official London residence. Welcome to Buckingham Palace. This landmark has served as the London residence of the UK's monarch since 19... UK. Who fancies a tipple? I know I do. Well, I think... Do th I say that? You say the first one, and I say, well, I think we need to open the bar. Who fancies a tipple? I know I do. Wait. That's better. Who fancies a tipple? Should I say, I know I do? No way. Oh, why don't I say... Yeah, that, why don't... Who, you say, who fancies a tipple? Oh, I do know. I say that? Maybe I should say that then. And then you can say, well, I think we need to open the bar. Okay, fine. Or should I say, who fancies a tipple? And then you say, I know I do. Okay. Well, I think we need to open the bar. So, do I say, I know I do? So, who fancies a tipple? I know I do. Well, I think it's time that we opened the bar. No. Oh, the clippity club in it. Oh, God. <laughs> this is me for the outtakes one. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so funny? I don't know. Okay. I think we should do an Instagram live. Oh, really? No, hold that down because I'm doing a wide view. Do you, can you not remember those 10 words? That's all. Without looking at it. We've had our food, we've had our drinks, now it's time for some fun and games. <laughs> Try it again. <sighs> we've had our food, we've had our drinks, now it's time for some fun and games. 